Okay, so now we're ready to practice our cloud fight. Uh, on the practice cart, it's really nice. You just go to the back door. You can do the dark room if you want to. If you want to just skip it, hold YX and L and R. I'm going to turn the game sound on now. So now we're in the cloud fight, and we'll go over a few things first. Uh, there are a couple of things that I'll refer to for basically all of our cues, uh, and those are audio and visual cues. Audio cues are really important for more, the more advanced strats that I use, but for the beginner strats, it's mostly visual cues. Okay, and our cues are very important, obviously. Um, there's a moment for the audio cues that I used, and that's when the music builds up to what I call the crescendo, when it goes really high, hits its peak, and when it starts to go down, that's usually your cue that you can throw the cloud off screen to the left and do your animation skip, okay? But for the first phase, I believe for the second, it's almost all visual cues, okay? So we'll go ahead and start our phase one. We're gonna drop the cloud, jump up into it, and then we're going to try to stop Bowser when he's in this area right here, okay? And then to, to do your animation skips, always assume that I'm holding Y and I'm holding up and left. And you're just going to tap B, and that will do it. He'll throw the cloud off screen, but because the cloud hitbox is so big, you'll land back in it, and that will make that, that will do your animation skip, whether it's Bowser, stopping Bowser, making him drop balls, making him throw Mecha Koopas, or stopping the flames. That's pretty much all there is to it. Hold Y, up left, and tap B. So we're going to stop him right in here. We're going to go over to him after we stop him. He's going to throw two Mecha Koopas out. We're going to jump on both. The first, first one that we hit with our feet will be a first hit. Then we're going to go down, grab the second Mecha Koopa, and throw him up for our second hit. Perfect. That's not perfect. I don't think I made a safe state either. Let me try it. There we go. Okay. Very good. Let him go up and left and then throw it up and hit him. That's a very, very easy strategy to use. One you can practice and get pretty quickly. You can do it a little bit faster though, and I'll show you how. like that that's what that's what we want to do the other one is when you're you're first learning but it, that even gives up a little bit more time than you need to okay so now we're going to go into phase two but let's talk about a few things first very long pro an uh, prolonged animation of Bowser's clown car and nothing is happening that's because as long as this cloud is on screen and you haven't done an animation skip, the game can't proceed to the next event, okay? Well, you say, well, you know, when I do the, the Bowser fight, usually there's flames. Why aren't there flames? Well, it has to do with this pillar. At least this point, this axis. If you stay right of this pillar, nothing happens. If you go left of the pillar, the flames drop down, okay? What you need to do, once the flames have started dropping, all you have to do is a regular animation skip to the left. All right? That's all you have to do. I should have made another a safe state. We'll do phase one again, and then I'll go into detail about the... Okay. So, to do our flame skip... While Bowser's clown car is on the screen, the, the way to do flame skip is to go into the upper left corner at a certain position and you're going to throw the cloud off screen. Now, if you don't do that, he takes this really long, you know, drawn out flyaway unless you go above up to the top of the screen. Then the flames will immediately go down. So what we're going to do when we do our flame skip is we're going to trigger the flames coming down at the same time that we jump left into the animation skip. Okay, so it's both combined into one, into the upper left corner. That's it. Okay, now for phase two. 
this is the phase where he drops two balls. We're going to do our trigger to make him drop both. And then on the third animation skip, when he throws the Mecha Koopas out, just like phase one, we're going to land on both. The first one will hit him. The second one we're going to grab and throw up. Okay? And then we're going to fly back into our cloud. You want to leave the cloud stationary or moving very slowly in this phase because if it's moving too fast, it's going to fly off the screen and you won't be able to catch it. Okay? Which is bad because then it's basically reset. Let's see. He started to the left. The crescendo went down. As soon as it does that, you can actually do your, do your animation skip. Okay. The cloud's moving very slowly over here. Flame skip. Very good. Now phase three. Just like in phases one and two, we're going to do our animation skip once we hear the crescendo. Once the sound goes down. And we're going to go over and jump on both Mecha Koopas. The first one will hit him, and the second one, we're going to jump up. After we grab it, we're going to jump up and then throw it up. See, I hit him up high. When you hit Bowser up high, it saves a lot of time because he immediately goes into his animation where he drops Peach out of the clown car. If you hit him low, I'm going to have to redo face two, it looks like. If you hit him low, he's going to have to travel all the way up back to the top of the screen, which can take about three seconds. So that's three seconds that you've wasted and, you know, that you didn't need to. Make a safe set here. Do our flame skip again. I'll hit him at the bottom. I'll try to hit him at the bottom this time so you can see the difference. <laughs> that was actually really good if you missed the first the first one. Let's see if I can get him low and show you. It takes about three seconds from when he goes from the bottom to the top. Oh. That's, that brings up another good point. Whenever the cloud goes off screen to the right, it wraps around to the left just for a minute, which actually causes an animation skip. Now, you can't throw the cloud off screen to the right, I think, because it doesn't go far enough and do an animation skip. When you do the animation triggers, the animation skips, you always have to do it on the left side. But if the cloud goes off the right, the right side, it will actually be the same as you throwing it off the left, effectively. So let's do this. And I, again, I'm trying to get him real low. After one more attempt of this, we'll, I'll go through the whole fight and we'll see what we get. Again, I hit him high. Oh, well. Just take my word for it. It takes about three seconds. So let's try the whole fight here. With these strats and see what kind of time we get. So far, Let's see if we can get a good flame skip. I think I went too early there. It's okay. I want him to get a little bit closer to me. I actually could have done a really quick second hit there. three okay a one on two fifty five that's pretty good I was pretty slow in a couple of those phases you can actually get about a one minute fight with those strats um, I usually get around a 101 with those uh, very good strats to use in my opinion, until you get, until you really start going for sub 10 or maybe just a little bit above. I used these strats until I had about a 107, I think. Um, but they'll definitely get you by. Optimal cloud fight is a, is a high 53 second fight, low 54 second fight. 
uh, and I'll have those in my tutorials and some other tutorials I'll have one that shows a really good fight that I had that was a high 53 second fight but you know if you're losing 10 seconds to optimal you're still saving a lot of time and you're still saving a lot of time over using orb so I think it's definitely worth doing uh, cloud is fun it's just different um, but again it takes a lot of practice if you have any questions, just leave a comment or hit me up on Twitter. Whatever. All right, I hope this was helpful for you. Good luck.